We're coming down the stretch of our fall sports seasons, and we've got plenty to update you on. Welcome to this week's edition of Behind the Blue. Millican Volleyball played three games last week. The Big Blue hosted CCIW opponent Wheaton on Wednesday night. Millican fell behind early and just couldn't complete the comeback, falling 3-2. On Friday, Milliken headed up to Rock Island to take on Augustana. After dropping the first set, Milliken turned it on, winning 3-1 in convincing fashion. Finally, Milliken headed to Indiana to take on DePauw. The Big Blue cruised to victory with a sweep of the Tigers. This brings women's volleyball to 13-6 on the year. Their 3-2 record in the CCIW is good for fourth place in the conference. This week, Milliken travels to Elmhurst on Wednesday before hosting the Milliken Five State Classic on Friday and Saturday. The postseason push is officially here for women's volleyball. Milliken finds themselves still in play for the CCIW regular season title, sitting a game and a half back from Wheaton in the top spot. Nobody has been officially eliminated from tournament contention just yet, with North Park, Carroll, and Augustana on the outside looking in. If the conference tournament were to start today, Milliken would be hosting North Central in the first round, with the winner traveling up to Carthage in the semifinals. Moving on to men's soccer, the Big Blue hosted Elmhurst last week. A scoreless first half gave way to a Blue Jay goal early in the second. Milliken could not strike back as they fell 1-0. This brings men's soccer to 1-8-2 on the year. Their 1-2-1 record in the CCIW is good for 7th place in the conference. This week, Milliken travels to Carroll on Saturday. The postseason push is here for men's soccer as well. Milliken finds itself on the outside looking in in a three-way tie for 5th. However, the tournament is still wide open with Big Blue just a half game out from 4th place. Nobody has been officially eliminated from con tournament contention yet. If the conference tournament were to start today, Milliken would not qualify, with Illinois Wesleyan, Elmhurst, North Central, and North Park making up the field. Moving on to women's soccer, the Big Blue were on the road at Elmhurst last week. This one was tight throughout, with the teams being tied deep into double overtime. Bailey Blecker would score off a Hannah Henson assist with just 27 seconds left in the game to secure the win for Milliken. On Saturday, Milliken hosted North Park. This one was a defensive clinic. Hannah Henson put her name on the score sheet with the game's lone goal from an Amanda Noser assist. Milliken was victorious by a score of one to nothing. This brings women's soccer to seven and five on the year. Their two and two record in the CCIW gives them fifth place in the conference. And this weekend, Milliken travels to Carroll on Saturday. The postseason push is also here for women's soccer. Milliken is just barely on the other side of the line in fifth, but just like the men, the tournament is still wide open, with the Big Blue just a half game out from third and one game out of second. Nobody has been officially eliminated from tournament contention yet. If the conference tournament were to start today, Milliken would not qualify with Augustana, Illinois Wesleyan, North Central, and Wheaton making up the field. Football was in action on Saturday up at Elmhurst. Milliken outgained the Blue Jays by over 100 yards, but couldn't find the end zone. Elmhurst would go on to win 28-7. Aiden Lombardo was 4 of 11 passing for 140 yards, a touchdown and an interception in the air in relief of Cal Port. Marion McGee led Big Blue Rushers with 14 attempts for 52 yards, and Antonio Brown called in three receptions for 127 yards and a touchdown in the loss. Quentin Miller was the defensive leader for the Big Blue, he recorded nine tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, and a sack. Milliken sits at two and three on the year, and their record of two and two in the CCIW is good for a fifth place tie with Wash U. Milliken heads up to Bloomington to take on rival Illinois Wesleyan on Saturday. With the conference schedule almost halfway over, the title chase is starting to form up. North Central has the lead, with Milliken two games back from the top spot. Nobody has been eliminated from contention. Men's golf was in action at the Millican Country Club Classic. The team finished fourth with a score of 587. Jack Patterson was the Big Blues' top finisher with a 142, tying him for sixth place individually. 
This brings the fall season to a close for golf. Both the men and the women will resume play in the spring. Women's tennis hosted Carthage on Friday. A tight battle saw Milliken's advantage in singles play secure them the victory by a score of 5-4. On Saturday, Milliken hosted Carroll. The Big Blue cruised to victory, sweeping singles play and taking two of three doubles matches en route to an 8-1 victory. This brings women's tennis to a strong 9-1 on the year. A 6-1 CCIW record brings them to second in the conference. Milliken will travel to Augustana for their final match of the regular season on Saturday. If the conference tournament were to start today, Milliken would be the second seed and face off with seven-seeded Illinois Wesleyan in the first round. A strong season to this point guarantees that the Big Blue cannot be relegated to the play-in round. Cross Country had the week off. They'll be in action up at Augustana on Saturday for the Augustana invite. Milliken Triathlon also had a week off. This week they head to Virginia for another NCAA qualifying meet. Now it's time to recognize our Big Blue Athletes of the Week. Our first athlete is Hannah Henson. Last week, Hannah was a part of two game-winning plays. She assisted an overtime winner and scored what would be the game-winning goal later in the week in the first half against North Park. Our second Big Blue Athlete of the Week is Emily Marcus. Emily posted a 3-1 record last week, going 2-0 in singles play, as women's tennis notched a second consecutive 2-0 week. That's all for this week's edition of Behind the Blue. Be sure to tune in next week for all your Millican sports news. Have a great week and go Big Blue.